Yeah, We've yeah. been MIA, but now we are back for and good. I can't match that energy, so. <laughs> <laughs> and those guys, once again, welcome to Gay Young Wife. So, like myself. This is Sheon Padina, my husband. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Tony Odose Padina, and I. Honestly, I really miss everyone. Yeah. And I miss your messages. I've been getting messages on Instagram like, when are we going to start again? We're missing this all, uh, all our content and everything. But now, guess what? We have a lot of juicy details about what has been going on in our lives for the past year. Yep. <laughs> juicy, juicy, juicy. So, in summary, we have a baby. Yes. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> but before we got here, we had um, some disappointments, and that is the reason why we want to share, um, you know, want to share how you would deal with, you know, pregnancy loss and um, and so difficult to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now we can smile, you know, but um, the idea is to talk about, you know, how to deal with pregnancy loss, you know, the effect, the effect it has on the family, uh, from the wife, you know, to the husband, the psychological part, the emotional effects, spiritual effect, and even the physical effect. Um, nobody wishes pregnancy loss on anybody, and, you know, it, it's, it's difficult to understand, you know, the crushing blow that it has on you when it happens, you know, and um, a lot of people feel that this is a very sensitive conversation to talk about, but at the same time, you know, um, when things happen like this, some families have been broken down, you know, in this kind of, you know, situation. So the idea for this video, you know, this conversation that we're talking about is to uh, be able to share our own experience and we are hoping, or we hope, that the experience will help somebody, you know, out there to be able to deal with it. How we coped with it, you know, the challenges that we faced, um, you know, and um, even the experience that we also went through too, you know, while she was pregnant with the young man that you can hear on the background. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's the, he's the director and the producer. <laughs> Telling us what to do and how to say. Exactly, and also reminding us that, hey, people are here. Yes. You know, so uh, yeah, basically that's the idea. So, uh, guys, without talking too much, let's delve right into it. Yeah. Everybody wants to hear from the woman's perspective. How did you do? What did you do? Um, how did you cope? So, okay, how did I deal? <laughs> yeah. So for me, it's um, it was a prolonged. <laughs> Yeah, it was a prolonged, um, you know, I had an emotional breakdown eventually. And that was because in the moment I was like, okay, you know what, it has happened. Okay, what do we do next? Um, how do I, how do I, um, instead of dealing with it directly, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to deny it and say, you know what, um, let's just have fun. Let's just go to all the parties. <laughs> let's just be, <laughs> let's just be happy, you know. And eventually that backfired because I wasn't dealing with the pain. I, I've been very curious. I've never asked you this young before. Yeah. What's the question? How did you deal? I mean, um, I, I mean, as a guy, man, biologically, you can't we. Really, as a guy, you can't really understand the, the full effect, you know, because I mean, <laughs> in as much as yes, I was in the process, man. I'm not, you know. Don't mean to sound insensitive, but I'm not the one carrying, you know, the baby as it is on the inside. So, uh, I think first of all, for me, it was more like, you know, blaming myself, especially when we, you know, go out and you feel like you're trying to rush the way you're going to, we're jumping into bombs and all that, and you're like... Like when you're driving. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not a rough driver, but, <laughs> you know, so, so there's, there's that part where you start blaming yourself, there's the part where you now start playing incidents, you know, over the few weeks and months that, okay, is there something that should have been done properly? Is there a medication that she was supposed to take that she didn't take? 
is there a particular sleeping position that she was supposed to, I mean, I'm a very protective person, you know, and I always try to be, you know, careful and try to be delicate because this is my woman. <laughs> Anyways, let's leave that for another conversation. <laughs> so anyways, for me, it was, it was heartbreaking. Uh, I, I didn't break down in front of her, you know, because I really had to be strong, you know, to show that manly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was <laughs> you know? weird, though. But deep down inside, you know, there was a lot of, you know, sadness, there was a lot of heartbreak, you know. Um, I remember talking to, you know, um, my best friend, Daniel, and um, I, I called him one night and, you know, and, you know, I just wanted to just, you know, bear my mind out and just explain to him how I really felt because I didn't get the chance to do that you know, in front of Tommy uh, because I didn't want to feel insensitive about her own emotions and how she was feeling at that point in time you know so I really had to put up a front you know so I can be strong you know for her so I remember talking to him on the phone and I broke down in the car I was in tears and I said you know one thing I remember telling him is that I feel like something has been taken away from me physically emotionally even spiritually something has been taken you know away from me and i don't know how i'm going to be able to deal with it i don't know how i'm going to be able to express it you know to uh, to tell me um and you know all he was just telling me was it's okay it's okay and i'm sure at some point in time i think he was even crying with me so <laughs> <laughs> and it's really okay to cry because I think oh, a yeah. lot of times there's you know men men don't when people say men men shouldn't cry men don't cry men whatever I don't yeah. know what that means I mean but that's just however we you know how to deal with it you know if you know taking a walk or, or whatever it is or putting yourself into something it helps you you know release you know the tension yes but at the same time it also helps you know talking to you know your wife about it you know your wife better than any other person you know try to find that you know moment where you can you can um, you can you can connect you know with her and ask 